talked about show in Hollywood. Three words. Television show. Watch our time. Pantomime quiz time. Yes, friends, it's Mike Stokey's Pantomime Quiz Time with regulars Vincent Price, Hans Conrad, and her favorite guest stars on the oldest and most honored show in the movie capital. And now here to start off tonight's festivities is your host, Mike Stokey. Thank you, Ed Rivers. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Pantomime Quiz. It's a big night for us tonight. We got not only a bunch of swell people on the show, but believe it or not, hold on to your hats, our own boy, Vincent Price. Is in there. Oh. I think you know, oh, hey fellas, ignoring me. Vincent Price, no, yes. no. Oh, Vincent, oh, me. Oh, Vincent, oh, Vincent, no, no. Okay, here, here they are, you know them anyway, but I'll go through individual introductions on them. Children, children, I want to introduce you individually. Take two, please. First, an unquestionably prettiest member of our regulars, Adele Jurgens. <laughs> then back of Adele is, I can't even give this guy a description, let's just call him the kid, Jackie Coogan. Over to the right of Jack, and I don't care what they say, Vince, we're all happy to have you back. Vincent Price. Thank you. Of course, next to Vince, and I don't know how he's upstage again tonight, Hans Conry. I know. Now just one. Okay, that's the regulars. Incidentally, I have two balls in my hands because, <laughs> please, with Price back now, huh? the regulars are supposed to be tougher because they play together each week. Please, children, the regulars are supposed to be tougher, so we give them a different bowl to, uh, to draw from so they can have tougher stuff. We also give our uh, guests nice, easy ones. So we'll come back on the show. By our guests, I think you know who I mean. Let's take a look at them over here, and then I'll introduce them to you individually. Here's an old favorite of yours to start off with on Pantomime Quiz, 106 pounds of oomph, <laughs> Jane Nye. Then back of Jane, about 220 pounds of, uh, well, anyway, <laughs> is a wonderful guy, Barton McGlay. <laughs> then to Barton's left here, a little gal that we'd like to have on the show because it's such a short time in between because it's Miss Audrey Long. <laughs> then next to Audrey, speaking of big hulks of men here, Incidentally, I must talk to you later in the show about that hip shooting you did. Willard Parker. We always start off with the guests, naturally. It's their prerogative. So, uh, Audrey Long, will you step up, please? Come on, you're up again. Oh, Very nice having you back on the show. Well, it's wonderful How's about here. a rundown on your pictures? What did you just get out of? Well, the last one, as of yesterday, was mm -hmm. Cavalry Scout with Rod Cameron. My leading man of a few pictures ago is sitting right over there. Mr. Oh, Willard Will Parker. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we shall ask him about it when he comes. Oh, Be no. sure and get him on it. Uh -huh, well. uh, I just finished one with Janie, Jenny Nye, and Bill Williams. God, that's wonderful. Old home week. Okay, Audrey, let's see how well you do now. And maybe they will ball. or will not play with you again. Number nine for Audrey Long. So uh, we're going to show you folks at home in the studio with the slide right now, and then I'll show it to Audrey. Okay, take a look at it. From offstage with the movie title, Angels with Dirty Faces. And that was sent in by Kirk Vanderveer from Chicago. There it is, Audrey. Not too tough. I Hello. think you can do this one. Go ahead. Good luck to you. Right, let's go. Motion picture. Motion, motion picture. Motion picture. Motion picture. Motion picture. Uh, title. Uh, title. Uh, uh, four words. Is there a new Fourth movie? Is there a new Fourth movie? Word. Is there a new movie? There a new movie? Mm -hmm. Okay. First word. First, first word. word. Dancing. 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 Okay, second, second word. Second word. Uh, it's, it's a with, w, with, 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 I tell you, the, the, the simplest for angels is like this, or point to me. I don't know. Oh, and you're an angel. Naturally. All right. Okay, Audrey, go ahead and sit down. Let's see, that took you uh, 40 seconds. Not bad. By the way, I want you folks out there to meet the little gal who opens our show each week, Miss Sandra Spence. You know that 40 seconds get tough on these regulars over here? Let's see what they can oh, do. Oh, they huh? started, too. Beginners like Speaking of angels with dirty faces, what? let's call up the saint himself, Vincent Price. Oh, Vince, oh, you're a boy. Oh. This is wonderful having you back. Come on, everybody Vince, give Vince a welcome. This is from an American oh, girl. This is it. Oh, oh, look at oh boy. Let me give it. I want to get a good one. Oh, God. 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 O
Oh, you're all right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Vince, do you want to talk about your trip now, or shall we go into that later? Let's go into that later. All right, well, at least tell me the name of the picture, though. Uh, the name of the picture is Bloodline, with Blood Errol Line. Flynn and Michelin Prell. You know, Agnes you want to know something? You've got some on your lips right uh, now. Uh, well, kiss How about that? <laughs> all right, Vince, uh, the other team got off to a good start. Lloyd no, Park. that's the oh. people who sent it in. This man forgets quick. Number 14, Number 14 for Vincent Price. Price sent in by Lloyd Parnell from Los Angeles. Okay, let's uh, let Parnell. you people at home look at it. An old Frank Crummett song for Vincent Price, Abdul the Bull Bull the Mirror. Oh, this, I bet 10 seconds. In come your come on, you cheated. Uh, uh, four, four words. words. A line from a song. A song. song. First, First word. word. Hey, 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 Saint, Saint, uh, no, crown, cap. cap, it's a, like crown, a French hat, crown, uh, hat, dunce, hat, dunce, uh, hat, cap, uh, cap, cap, um, um, uh, fourth word, third, third word, word. Uh, devil, bull, devil. Bull, 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 bulling, bulls, bulls, bulls. bulls. is that it, bulls, no, two bulls, bullet, <laughs> second uh, syllable, first syllable first is bull, bull, bull. bull. Second syllable is the same. Bull bull. Bull 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 Wonderful having that price guy back. Speaking of other wonderful people, Hi. Jane Nye, will you step up, please? Here we go. Hey. Incidentally, how about What's if you guys get a load of this slim figure oh, here? Oh, what's slim like about that? Look at please, that. Please, like Jackie Logan. <laughs> Hey, how about this? This is a sensational figure. Thank you. No, well, you really you lost several was. pounds, haven't you? Yes, sir. Well, it's yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> tell me about the pictures. Was it because you played a dance hall girl in something? Oh when? No, when? Didn't you? Well, a long time ago. Oh, no, I just finished one with Audrey Long and Bill Williams <laughs> called Blue Blood. And um, well, I, I was just minute. signed is in monogram. No, yes. really? Yes. Uh, under contract, huh? Yes. At Lucky oh, Studio. Isn't that wonderful? Well, look, is Blue Blood uh, uh, I mean, the same one that came out a short while ago? Is it a sequel to it or oh, what? No, there was Bluegrass and then County Fair and now Blue Blood. <laughs> Blue Blood. <laughs> sort of it's a another horse picture, huh? Yes, sir. That was a cute one, that first one. So, okay. Uh, get on your go ahead and pull this out and we'll see what you do now, Janie. Yeah. Number eleven for Jane Nye. Jane, that was sent in by William Webster from Brooklyn, New York. Let's show it to you Brooklyn, folks at home. Jane Nye has managed to draw mother war tights and fancy pants. This this is cute. Henry, it's a new don't show it. No, I've already told him. This is cute. It's a new category. Oh dear. Buzz. Uh, movie. Movie, movie. Uh, double, double feature. feature. Double feature. Double feature. Five, Five words. words. Uh, First word. Don't talk. Third, third word. word. Third word. Uh, Stockings, uh, slipping, dressing. Uh, uh, dressing. 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 Dress. Pants. <laughs> skirt. 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 Shirt. 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 Skirt. Uh, Shirt. Jodhpurs, Levi's. Boots. Pants. We said pants. But fifth word. Is <laughs> pants a word? Pants. Pants. Is the fifth word. Pants. I don't know. As well, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> pants. Fourth, Fourth word. word. What's pants. the matter? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Fourth word. Pants. pants. I said that 20 minutes ago. Fancy pants. Fancy pants. pants. Third, yeah, word. third word. Third word. Come on. This is Bob Oban. Fancy pants. Isn't it? Yeah, first word. First word. Uh, a cradle. Baby. 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 Cradle. Mother. 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 How about that, you people? It only took her one, one minute to do two pictures. I know, but you know he kept saying fancy pants, and I didn't even look at the bottom one. Segwaying from a double feature to an unreal comedy, it's Hans Conried. Hans, I hope you know. Yeah, yeah. You like these films? I said maybe Hans Conried. Hans Conried. Hans, are you? Uh, what do you think of Vince Price being back? Uh, do you have you missed him? <laughs> yes, truly. I'm glad to see him back. Oh, well, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I look much better now by comparison. <laughs> okay, Hans, let's see how you do. Again. What you got? Number four for Hans Conried, sent in by Jay Lesler. Let's show you people at home. And of course, a bit of the bard for Hans Conried. It is meat and drink to me to see a clown. A couple seconds left, you should like this. Now, no beats from you. Uh, uh, 11 words. words. Uh, Shakespeare. 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 Uh -huh. Henry V, 
Uh, who's on first? Third, Third word. Uh, Are you cutting pie. Uh, uh, pie? Eating, pie? Steak. eating. Eat, eating, eat, what you're steak. eating. Uh, Baker uh, D, uh, wait. No, well, cut that. Okay, we're going to something else. A bull. A bull. A bull. A steer, steer. Oh, steer. No, you cut it, cut it through. No, it's a what head. the meat a is, isn't it? Meat? A boar's meat. 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 Oh, it's oh, so dear. simple, I know. Both words. I'm glad to know you. The, a, and, I, and. And. A fifth word. Drink. 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 Meat and drink. Meat and drink. And meat and drink. Meat and drink. Oh. Is that in the middle of it? Sixth word. Over. Six. Over. Two. Uh, no. Two. Two. And meat and drink. The seventh Two. word. This is me. To me. To me. It is meat and what drink. is meat and drink to, to me, me is first, first word. word. That. 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 This. 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 Those. Those. These. It. Table. It. Oh, oh. It. it is meat it. and drink to me. It is meat and drink to me. Eighth word. Eighth word. From Two. 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 To him. Uh, to see. 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 A. A. The. Tenth word. A. To see A. Eleventh word. Eleventh word. Uh, oh, a oh, a clown, 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 clown. That's it, that's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Very good. Uh, <laughs> meat and drink to me to see a clown. Yeah, what's that? That's from As You Like. As You Like. That's the only reason. Well, I didn't you. like it very much. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It brings us nice comfortable over there. Yeah. In incidentally, I'm uh, walking in front of the other actor. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're, you know, they're complaining already. I want you to know that the attention of the audience is in my direction at any it's eight time. You have your back to the camera. You want to know something? Sit down before you cover my camera. Hans, you and Shakespeare go together. A minute 20 for you. But the guests are still ahead by 18 seconds now. <laughs> okay, Willard Parker, I think, is the next man up here. Willard, how are you? And I mean man. Get a load of this. How about that? Thank you. What are you? What are you? How, how tall are you, Willard? Uh, six, uh, six, four. Six, four. four. You can do a couple That's about dialogue. adventure, about six, adventure four. Four. What are you six, four? Four. Uh, <laughs> six, four at least. <laughs> Willard. Uh, yes, sir. This I didn't know, speaking of a six-foot, four-inch guy, uh, they gave me a note, something about your playing, playing tennis at one time with Elworth, Ellsworth. Well, well I was a, yeah, I was a tennis pro. I was out the really side Three lessons, kids. Uh, yeah. right. Do you still uh, Looks like you're going to have to go back to it, yeah. Oh, are you sticking you to love? love. <laughs> no. You topped my love line. I wish you'd be quiet. <laughs> well, Willard, well, how about a rundown on the pictures? Well, the last one I finished was... Um, a uh, picture called Patchy Drums at Universal. Patchy Drums? Uh, oh, Apache, Apache Drums. Apache, Apache oh. Drums. I was wondering <laughs> if they Enunciate. couldn't afford better. <laughs> Willard, tell you, tell you what, one time, as you folks know, during the program, why we do not show you a slide and the voice off stage doesn't talk to you because we want this guy to have to play from scratch to everybody. But Willard, I tell you what I'd like to do. You draw that number, and while I'm getting your card, I just want to tell the people I know that you would like to write in and stump the stars on the show, so send in as many or as few stumpers as you like to me, Mike Stokey, in Cara Panamime Quiz, Hollywood 28, California. And if you do stump the stars, you get this beautiful entire case, the whole case of these nine wonderful Evans lighters. Oh, oh I love that. All right, Willard, number 13, will you hold that for me? And I will get your cards out, and you guys get on the ball, because this can be really sharp tonight, Willard. Uh, this was sent in by Mrs. R. Rosenberg, Eastern Park, Brooklyn, Brooklyn New, York. New York. You're on. Oh. Kind of old, but th this could be tough. Go ahead. Yeah, the number doesn't watch the country. Ah. Guy looks like a liar. What? Oh. <laughs> no heckling, no. Quiet. <laughs> Movie? Moving picture title? Title. One line? No. Uh, five, five words. words. Is it a new five movie? Words. Willard, old is it a new movie. movie? Old movie? Way back. Way back. Okay. Okay, okay. Second, second word. Second word. Small. A, B, and A. But, but. On the nose, but. No. A. A. N. N. V. But. Fifth word. Fifth word. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, no. Graham. You're going into pushing the door. Say that. Charge. Fifth word. Fifth word. Fifth word. Bayonet. Bayonet. Charge. Attack. A gun? Is that a gun? Ramrod. It's a ramrod. It's, 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 um... It's a what? A battering ram? <laughs> battering it's a battering ram? Is it a gun? No. It's a tent. No. Is it a tent? It's a, a spear Lance. thing? It's a Lance. spear. Lance. Oh, a spear. Lance. Oh, Lance. 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 Lance.
Oh, did you see that entrance? You want to know? An abundance of safe. Adele, let's talk about a picture. What do you want to do? Oh, she's right. Well, I'm going into the Abbott Costello uh, Meet the Invisible Man. Oh, have they? Meet the International. Invisible Man. Oh, have they got yes. a small budget? I can't even hire them. Uh, well, what would you do after being in the foreign league? League, yeah. Okay, Adele, uh, draw it. Let's see what you get here. See, uh, number, number 10. 10 that was sent in by 10. Willard uh, Jennings from Chicago, Illinois. Okay, Willard, Willard and all the rest Ryan, of you take man. a look at it. Here's a pretty famous song title for Adele Jurgens to do, Mademoiselle from Armentier. This should be cute. Oh. Oh. Right <laughs> on the nose. Right. Um, a song. song. Cut it. No. Three, Three words. words. Three words. A line. A line. A song. First word. Second, Second word. word. Second word. Come. From. 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 Uh, from Natchez to Mobile. No, no. From is the second word. Yeah. yeah. Uh, third, third word. word. Uh, three three syllables. syllables. First syllable. First syllable. First syllable. Arm. The whole one. Arm. Uh, Army. Uh, Armada. Arm. Uh, Armada was out from Armada. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you let me down. I think it's I think it's going to take one look at that title and really go to time. No, that was cute. Uh, Mademoiselle from Armateurs, I know you wouldn't remember it, but Vince served oh. in that war. Oh, God. It's a third war. He was too old. Were you at Armateurs? He was too old. Yeah, he was not a single thing. girl left. <laughs> <laughs> Adele, let's see. That took you just 28 seconds, and that's the fastest on the show tonight. And incidentally, it's the first time the regulars have been ahead. 21 seconds ahead. Ready now for our anchor man, Barton McLean. Barton McLean. I gotta say that in tough fashion because Bart's a real he man on the street. No well, incidentally, well, I was just talking to Willard a moment ago about that mm -hmm. hip shooting. Wasn't that terrific? Did you see that picture he was in? Have oh, you had to do any of this fanning stuff on well, the Well, we always have to do that. It was a pretty tough thing to do. I, I bet. Willard's <laughs> well, better at it than I am. Well, look, speaking of things like that, I understand well, you you are a, a Hollywood uh, actor who does not live in Hollywood. You live on a ranch in Madero, huh? That's right. But what uh, what does it mean by a ranch in Madero? A couple of acres, or do you actually? Well, do we really have a, quite a large cattle ranch, and it mm. means when you sell a calf for six hundred pounds to one hundred and ninety-four dollars and fifty cents, it's uh, like working on television. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> Don't get embarrassed. The fatted calf over there. Oh, I know uh, how about a picture rundown, Bart, before we get into this? Well, kiss tomorrow goodbye. Best of the bad men. I've just finished and. Uh, Let's dance with Fred Astaire and Betty Hutton. will be the Paramount, I think. Thanks. So busy. Thanks. Well, that, that's yeah. the one where you play the manager of a very smart club or something to Fred Astaire and Betty Hutton. Sort of a Sherman Billingsley part. I'm not a heel in this picture. I'm a no. Guy. Oh, <laughs> the boy is living, Bart. That's quite a switch for you. Well, go ahead and draw in here, and we'll see how you come out off this one. Number three for Bart and McLean, and Bart, that was sent in by. Uh, Betty Philpot. <laughs> I'm only kidding, Betty, but we've had fun with this from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Go ahead, you folks, look at it. Now. Watch Barton McLean go to work on this saying of sorts. His stomach thought his throat was cut. Okay, I knew I couldn't keep straight on that, Bart. Let's see what you got here. Uh, this this is tough, but I, I think he can do it. He's used to these tough roles. Ten words. What is it? What is it? A motion. Uh, a quotation. A saying. A saying, a saying or a quotation. A, a saying. Man, boy. Guy, him, fellow, his, uh, his he. Word, right? uh, oh, forget second it. Second word. word. Stomach. 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 Man travels the stomach. Amiens. Mm. Fifth, Fifth, Fifth word. Fifth word. Cut. Cut. Cut, g g g cut your throat. Stomach. Cut. cut. You think your cuts your stomach is so empty? A man you think your throat is cut? Stomach. Does that? Huh? Mean? Cuts his throat. <laughs> what? This my man. My stomach is. My stomach is so empty. It's so it feels as if my throat, throat is, is cut. cut. Huh, is that I'm right? Missing a word. First word. Was. Huh? A mine. His, there. The, his, 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 on the nose. His stomach. His stomach. It's so empty. Shoot. What is this? Oh, this is a hole in his head. The awful rude. <laughs> it's awful rude looking old boy. <laughs> Are you thinking? His stomach. His, stom his stomach. Uh, so thinking is it way back? longer. How can you go longer? Are you longer stretching it out? Your thinking past. Back? What is past tense? Think. The past. Thought. Oh, wait a minute. I know. Uh, uh, his stomach is so empty. He thought his throat is cut. <laughs> Oh, well, I might have gone home. He thought he had no head. head. Uh, huh? What is this, honey? Let's try some yogurt. I don't understand this. <laughs> is it close? Is this it? His are stomach, we, are we near his you? stomach is so empty. Empty, empty of what? It's so uh, holy. <laughs> your mind? Your mind? Your mind? mind? Listen to me. Think. Mind. Think. <laughs> think. Thought. 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 Th
Oh, oh he was thinking like mad. You had the right idea. He just didn't this let you know which right right word. His stomach no, fought. His, his throat was cut. It was that. Oh, you're not. Oh, that isn't the way it is. Oh, it is the way it is. This guy has been arguing all day. He says, Superman isn't that. He must be one of the beat. Bart, that was great. Go ahead and sit down. You know, it's. Huh? It's tough to think that this? way. What is this? What? Oh, you... <laughs> well, Bart, that took you the two minutes, which doesn't make you happy, but I'm sure the sender is happy because, let's see, that means a nice box of lighters for him or her. I forget which it is now. For a total of 447 for the guests. Uh, dull brains is the natural lead into Jack Coogan. Okay. Jackie, will you come up? Jackson, how you doing? Right, right. Jack, as you know, has been making a big hit on the show. However, this is the first time that he and Vince have played together on the same team. Jack, what do you think of it? Well, I, I truth, I've lo been looking forward to it. I, you know, I've admired him for a long time. I heard that he was a saint. He looks like the devil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 that's a good oh, pretty old. Pretty old. Did you ever used to see him as a kid in pictures? Business? No, I wasn't born. You wasn't <laughs> born. Okay, go ahead. Your governess ever said? No, no, I don't think so. What you got? I don't know what looks Number like. Number 17, OK, Jack sent in by Connie Morris, uh, Morris from the Bronx. From the Bronx? Yes. Okay. The Bronx! The Bronx! The Bronx! The Bronx! The Bronx! saying for Jackie Coogan, paratroopers shouldn't practice in a country where there's cactus. All right, you folks know it, and believe me, this is going to be rough. Jack, take a look at that. This is tough, but you guys, if you get on the Jack, ball, he's dead. What is, what is it, Jack? Uh, Jack, oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, 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 eight, nine, 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 nine words. First, nine first word. First word. Jump. Dive. 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 No. Rip. Tarzan. Is it Tarzan? Uh, oh. Stripe. Geronimo. No. Uh, Paratrooper. No. Paratrooper. <laughs> Fourth word. Fourth word. In. 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 Paratrooper something something in. Paratrooper don't jump in, is it? Paratrooper. No. This word. Fourth word. This, this word. word. In, in a, a. In a. In a. A sixth word. Uh, world. The world is it? Horizon. The world. A, a uh, globe. Uh, uh, a globe. Land. Land. Uh, something small. Land. Country. country. In a country. country. Well, Paratrooper in a country. Yeah. Paratrooper something something in a country. Yeah, seventh go ahead. Word. Uh, uh, when, where, when? When? Where, which? What? Where? 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 where, where, where where there? Eighth word. Eighth word. Uh, the, the. then. The, the, the them, them. Where those, they, they, where they, these, where there, where there are, where there. There. Where there. Ninth word. Ninth word. Cactus. 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 Cactuses. Cactuses. Cacti. 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 shouldn't jump in, in a country. Into word. a country. Uh, Third word. Third in word. Third word. Shouldn't play. Play. Piano. 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 Play. 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 Pianist. Pianist. Oh, 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 it's a, uh, oh, one of those rollers. Third word. Practice it's night word. Shouldn't uh, night word. Sounds, sounds like, like. Sounds like. Sounds like shouldn't word. practice. Wait, sounds wait. like <laughs> the night word. Sounds, sounds like shouldn't like practice. Night practice. Night in a country where there are cacti. Black guy. In a country where there are cacti. Shouldn't practice. Black guy. In a country where there are cacti. Paratroopers shouldn't practice in a country where there's cacti. Uh, cactus. <laughs> what have I been saying for the last eight seconds, Pop? Yeah, you always have to stand you up. Said you said practice. You have on your lips, don't you? <laughs> girls, girls. Oh, my dear. Remember the cactus. <laughs> Incidentally, that, that's one of Paul's uh, salad green stains. We're going to use a lot of those on the show. I think you got to kick out of them. Uh, how tough can they get? Sure, it took you two minutes. That's right, Sandra. Making a total of 426 for the regulars is against. 447 for the guests, so what do you know? Congratulations, regulars. You beat them by 21 <laughs> seconds. Yeah. Regular, congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh. 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 Tell you what, here's where we go into our bumper. And by the bumper, here's what I mean. We take the fastest person from this team over here, the guests, the fastest from the fastest, that's correct, from the regulars. Bring them both up. They face their respective teams. They're handed the same card, which you'll get to see as usual. And then whichever team guesses the first is the big winner on that little event, OK? Reading from top to bottom on the guest team, uh, Audrey Long took 40 seconds. Jane Nye, one minute even. Willard Parker, a minute seven. Bart McLean, two minutes. So Audrey Long is the fastest on the guests. Then down on the regulars, uh, Vincent Price took 38 seconds. Hans Conried, a minute 20. Adele Jurgens, 28 seconds. Jack Coogan, two minutes. So obviously, Adele Jurgens is the fastest on the regulars. Hey, 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 All right, it's Audrey Long and uh, Adele Jurgens. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Can you put the bumper slide on for the people right now? And for the bumper tonight, we'll get Happy Days Are Here Again, The Skies Above Are Clear Again, let us sing a song of cheer again. Happy days are here again. Uh -huh. 
Buzzer, you're on. Go ahead, turn to your team. Bill Gates. Forget the word. New song is a new one. Sky. 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 Sky.
It's the um, three of spades. <laughs> wonderful, Bob. Isn't that wonderful? Huh? Well, if you don't mind, I'm going to turn in now. It's almost midnight. Oh, Judy, please stay. You haven't seen my best trick yet. Now, uh, pick a couple of cards. Any two cards. Don't let me see them. Now, now place them face down on the table. That's right. Now, put a half a dollar on the top of either card. Very good trick. Bob, I don't seem to have a half dollar. Let's see. Maybe I've got one. It's oh, funny I haven't got one either. Sir, excuse me, <laughs> do you happen to have a half dollar? Pardon? A uh, 50 cent piece, I'm showing the lady a trick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, Julie, just place this on top of either card. Now, now put a five dollar bill on the top of the other card. I won't look. Bob, uh, does it have to be a five dollar bill? Well, I think so. That's the way I've always done the trick. Gee, all I've got is traveler's checks. <laughs> Sir, excuse me, I'm awfully sorry, but do you happen to have a five dollar bill? <laughs> it, it's part of the trick, too, you see. Now, I won't look at this either now. Just put this on top of the card, Julie. Now, if you'll write down the serial number of the five dollar bill and the date on the half a dollar, I'll attempt to, to ascertain oh, the... Oh, Bob, uh, I don't seem to have a pencil. It's funny, I had to just a Oh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, would, would you care to watch? Oh, if you don't mind, I have quite an investment at stake. Yes. <laughs> now, uh, if you'll both turn your backs, I'll attempt to ascertain the, the serial number on the $5 bill and the date on the half a dollar, and also name the two cards. Uh, how do we know you won't peek? Do I look like a peeker? Oh, <laughs> Can I remove the dishes now? Oh, yes, yes, go right ahead, but please do it quietly. I'm concentrating. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. All right, we'll both turn around. Now, the, um, the serial number on the five dollars. <laughs> All right, Julie, where is it? I didn't take it. That wasn't very fair, sir. Even though it is your money, where is it? Where is it? A card shop. What? My wife warned me against people like you. Oh, no, 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 look, sir. You're a conductor. No, please. Conductor. Please, please, wait, please. wait a minute. I can straighten this out. The porter must have taken it. He probably thought it was a tip. A tip? Pay the man, Bob. Well, good night, fellas. I'm turning in now. Yes, good night, Julie. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Um, I guess I'll have to give you a traveler's check if you don't mind, Mr. Uh, uh, Peters. Alfred Peters. Okay. Yeah. But make it out to my wife. Uh, she'd like it that way. Yeah, to your wife. <laughs> what was that? Oh, I guess it's just a water tower up ahead. <laughs> the change of clothes under the bridge? I didn't have time to look. I barely made the train. A compartment. Not bad. Ah, oh, Nikki, you're the sweetest little wife a guy ever had. But you still have work to do. We gotta get me some new duds. Oh, honey. I know this train is super deluxe, but it doesn't carry a clothing store. Nikki, baby, by any chance, is there somebody my size on board? Somebody your size? Yes. Yes, there is. You know, Mr. Peters, I figured you for a wholesale walnut salesman the moment I spotted you. I'm very good at sizing up people, you know. Oh? Mm -hmm. It's sort of a hobby with me. I <laughs> see. This young woman, mm -hmm. what would you say her line is? <laughs> oh, well, what, 
would be your guess. Anyway. Well, from those high heels and all that paint she has on it, I'd say she was a cabaret girl. <laughs> Maybe even a gun mom. <laughs> She's a school teacher. <laughs> Obviously, you didn't notice the high type of magazine she selected to read. Why, no, I didn't. Also, her very, very intelligent face and general air of alertness. Let's ask her. You think so? Yes. OK. Uh, miss. Yes? Excuse me, my friend and I here are playing a little game, and uh, we just wondered if you'd mind helping us out. Oh, I'd be glad to, Mr... Yeah, Bean Blossom. What is it you want to me... Did, did you say Bean Blossom? <laughs> oh, yes, Bean Blossom. Robert S. Bean Blossom. <laughs> you see, uh, we were trying to guess uh, what line of business you're in, and, uh, well, my friend here thought you were oh, prop... Please. Well, we've got to tell him, Mr. Peters. <laughs> well, he, he thought you were probably... Uh... <laughs> A cabaret girl. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe even a gun mom. <laughs> well, but that's what you said, wasn't it? <laughs> but I thought you were probably a, um, a school teacher. A school teacher? Well, of course, I could be wrong. Oh, no, no. You hit it right on the button. You're a very bright young man. Oh, it's nothing really, just a knack. I'm uh, very good at card tricks, too. <laughs> you would be. Oh, that is, I'm sure you are. Speaking of character analysis, Mr. Bean Blossom? Bean Blossom, yes. I'd say that you're the type of man who likes to help ladies in distress. Well, yes. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're not in distress, are you? <laughs> oh, no, no, it's nothing serious. I just can't seem to get my suitcase open. Oh! <laughs> it's uh, in my compartment. Oh, in, 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 your, in your compartment? Yes. Well, yes, yes, I think I can help you with that. I'll see you later, Mr. Peter. Yes. You see, there's a volume of Shakespeare in my bag that I'm just dying to get to. Oh, yes. <laughs> School teacher. <laughs> I hate to put you to all this trouble, Mr. Bean Blossom. Oh, it's perfectly all right. No trouble at all. The lock seems to have gotten jammed or something. Oh, yes. Is this it? Uh, yes, it is. Why don't you sit over there? You might as well be comfortable while you work. Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Oh, these things can be pretty cantankerous sometimes. They... Uh, the light seems to be better over here. Why, why don't you sit here? Oh, yes, thank you very much. That is better. <coughs> <laughs> There's nothing more aggravating than a jammed lock, I always say. Oh, a nail file. Just... <laughs> no, no. You, you, you mustn't force things. Never be impatient. <laughs> you see, it's the light touch that counts. Now, now, you just watch me. Yeah, it's just as good as new. <laughs> well, if it gets stuck again, just let me know. Uh, but, Mr. Bean Blossom... Well, I'm, I'm in the next Pullman, Upper Six, you see. Upper Six, huh? Yeah, it, it's, it's right above Lower Six. <laughs> well, uh, happy Shakespeare and, and good night to you. <laughs> What's the idea of letting him get away? I'll let him get away. You had plenty of time to slug him. Wait a minute, I got a flash. What did Bean Blossom say his birth number is? Upper Six, why? What do you think, baby? We'll give him a chance to get to sleep. Top. And you? Well, I didn't sleep very well. I had sort of a funny dream. 
Uh, I dreamt I fell out of birth last night. How awful. Yeah, when I tried to climb back up, I stepped in somebody's face. <laughs> no, honestly, Joe, it was the most realist. <laughs> oh, Mr. Peters. Oh, I'm so terribly sorry. You're sorry. How will I ever explain this to the wife? <laughs> You and your dreams. Well, I'll see you in the diner. Oh, wait a minute, Julie. It'll only take me a second to get dressed. Oh, all right. What happened? Oh, don't be alarmed. We're just going through a tunnel. Can you see to get dressed? Well, I don't have to. I've been dressing myself for years. <laughs> see, where's my shirt? Th there should be a little light in the berth. No, I'm doing fine, Julie. I think I'll wear my blue suit today. It's right here on top in my bag. <laughs> oh, say, Julie, can, can you hand me up my shoes, please? I left them down there to be shined last night. Well, I can't see very well in the dark, but... Oh, yeah, I forgot. All right. That just about does it. Now, watch out, Julie. I'm, I'm coming down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for the shoes. Let's see. Oh, here they are. Oh, where'd you get that? Get what? That suit. Julie, why does anybody get a blue suit? <laughs> I must have stuck in the wrong bird. Or maybe you picked up the wrong suitcase. Oh, Julie, don't, don't be silly. Hold, hold it. I'll find out about this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, Mr. Peters, I'm terribly sorry. Darn it. Let's see. No, it's the right berth, Julie. My gray suit's still on the hanger. Let me see in my... Julie. My blue suit. It's gone from the bag. The Madison papers. They've been stolen, Julie. Bob, nobody stole anything. You just tell the conductor you took the wrong bag by mistake last night in Winslow. Now, here, I'm going into breakfast. Now, you listen to me, Julie. I got the right bag. I'm going to find my blue suit if I have to question every blue suit on this train. <laughs> wrong bag, wrong bag. I'll find it. Porter! Porter! Oh. Brush. Shaving cream. Mrs. Peters, look, I, I tell you, this whole thing's a horrible mistake. I'm not a convict. Really, I'm not. Well, if you say so. Look, look somebody stole my blue suit and left me those prison clothes. That's all, sir. If you'll excuse me, I... Please, Mr. Peters. <laughs> sorry, sir. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, I'm awfully sorry. Mr. Peters, I tell you, I need help. In less than an hour, this train gets into L.A., and my boss, Mr. Thackeray, is going to meet me at the Union Station. I've just got to find that blue suit. That won't be easy. There's probably 50 blue suits aboard. Yes, but there's only one with a maroon tie with yellow half moons that my grandmother knitted for me. Please, Mr. Peters, help me search the train, won't you? Sorry, I have to shave. If I get off the train with whiskers, my wife will be very perturbed. If I don't find those papers, Mr. Thackeray will kill me. Myrtle getting perturbed is worse than anybody killing anybody. <laughs> Haven't you any friends aboard who can help you? Only you and Julie, and she doesn't... Wait a minute. There's that school teacher. Yes. I did her a favor. Thank you, Mr. <laughs> what do you think, baby? Am I the yellow half moon type? Don't knock it, honey. It's more becoming than stripes. You're telling me. All right. I haven't got it. Where is it? My trunk in the baggage car. Miss Merriweather. Just a moment. Merriweather. It's that square from last night. He thinks I'm a school teacher. Let's see what he wants. Well, Mr. Bean Blossom. Miss Merriweather, I don't want you to be alarmed, but I have good reason to believe there's an escaped convict on this train. An escaped convict? Yes, he stole a suit of mine and left his prison clothes in my bag. He might have gotten away with it, too, except I had some valuable papers in the pocket, so I checked. Oh, my goodness, Mr. Bean Blossom. Have you told the conductor yet? No. Say, that's a good idea. I'll do it right now. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do that. I mean, if word got around there's a criminal aboard, it might start a panic. You know, you're absolutely right. We won't let the news out till we capture him. We? Yes. If we could just trick him into coming here to your compartment some way. But how could we do that? You can say you need help. Uh, pretend that the, the lock is jammed on your suitcase like it was last night. Then what? Well, then we'll, uh, we'll just shove him in here and, uh... Slam the door. <laughs> Simple as that. I have a better idea, Mr. Bean Blossom. Yes. Why don't you start searching the train? Searching the train. Yes, mm -hmm. I'll do it. Start at the far end. The club car. The club car. Mm -hmm. Oh, say, isn't this going to be an exciting experience to tell your pupils? <laughs> <laughs> I got to get my rod. Give me your trunk key. It's pretty risky, Brad. That baggage car is a long ways from here. Well, nobody will recognize me except that punk, and he's at the other end of the train. 
Porter, have you seen Mr. Bean Blossom? Mr. Bean Blossom? Oh, the man with the funny pajamas. No, ma'am, I haven't seen him. Well, if you do, tell him I'll be in the dining car. Yes, ma'am. Julie. Oh, listen. Bob, I've been looking all over for you. Yeah. You just received this telegram from Mr. Thackeray. Listen. Boarding train, Pasadena. Urgent we review Madison papers before arrival in Los Angeles. Oh, no. Julie, the Madison papers are still in my blue suit, and I haven't found it yet. Bob, your suit is in your bag back in Winslow. Why don't you admit it? Julie, my suit is on this train, and I know it. You hear that? We're pulling into Pasadena. Bob, if you'll just explain to Mr. Thackeray. Mr. Thackeray, I... Julie, you've got to head him off. Get him in the club car. Keep him there until I can catch up with my blue but suit. Bob, don't, I... don't argue, please. Hurry, Julie, please. Blue suit, blue suit. Uh, Mr. B. Blossom. Oh, I'm terribly sorry, Mr. B. I haven't got time to chat right but now. But I just saw it. The hand that it suits your grandmother made. I mean, the tie, the tie. You saw it? Where? Coming out of the washroom, and yeah. I saw this tie wearing a man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the man wearing, wearing a tie. Yeah. I pointed at the tie, yes. and well, just as I was about to yell. Yes, yes, yes. The man took my shaving brush and. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Bean Blossom. But sorry, that's Mr. what he did. Now, what happened then? Well, he doesn't know it, but yes. I followed him right to the baggage car. The baggage car. We've got him cornered. Get the conductor, the police, the FBI. Don't just stand there. Do something. Yes, I'll do something. As I thought. It is my... Your what, buddy? Uh, oh, my nothing. <laughs> it's funny how all suits look alike from the back, isn't it? Very funny. Yeah, I thought you'd find that amusing. Yeah, I'm about tickled to death. <laughs> oh, so, sorry, girl. He's got a gun, you see. Oh, mister, uh, look, you can keep the suit. Just give me the papers. A and the money. What money? Well, well, there's a wallet in the inside right-hand pocket. I don't feel no wallet. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe it slipped down in the lining. Hey! All right, buddy, reach! Well, hello, Miss Merriweather. You're just in time. I've got him. Oh, say, you can help. Would you keep him covered while I tie him up? Don't, don't be afraid. Just take it. That's right. Just put your finger right in there. Just keep your eye on it. Just be All right. Put him up. What? Oh, no, not me, him. <laughs> no, you, Mr. Bean Blossom. Me? Well, th then you are a gun, Ma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, well, Mr. Peters was right. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Bean Blossom? <laughs> There's his birth. Empty. If anything's happened to those Madison papers, I'll, I'll... Maybe Bob's in the club car. Julie, we just came from the club car. Oh, that bean blossom, wait till I find him. I'll try the b -b baggage car. Thank you. <laughs> well, come on, what would he be doing in the baggage car? You know Bob. <laughs> right, I know Bob, come on. Let's try this on, Mr. Bean Blossom. What, a mail sack? Well, I don't think it's my size. Make it snappy. We're just going to drop you off at the next town, buddy. But it's against the law to tamper with the U.S. mail. And, and I'm a U.S. mail. <laughs> okay, wise guy. I've got a better idea. Julie, I can't open this door. Get a porter. Conductor. Yes, sir. Somebody who can let us in. Anybody. We'll just have to bump him off and toss the body off the train. Oh, oh what do you want to do that for? They're sure to find me and well, think of all the bad publicity you'd get. Get those hands up, buddy. Ha hands up, yes, sir. Publicity or no publicity, this is it. Hey! <laughs> Bean Blossom, stop playing games. Games? Where are the Madison papers? Just one moment, sir. <laughs> there they are, sir. Get the gun. Mr. Thackeray, please, you're in the way. Uh, Julie! Oh, them. Nice work, Bobbo. Thank you. Keep him covered, Julie. Porter, 
You may take charge of the prisoners. Me, sir? Yes. And if they give you any trouble, just mail them to San Quentin. Yes, sir. <laughs> My hero. Julie, you may call me Super Slew. Is that me? Oh, <laughs> the train. <laughs>